How's it going people? Joe Scott 44 back again with a brand new video and today it's going to be my prediction video for WWE Elimination Chamber. The Elimination Chamber is coming to you tonight from the Bradley Centre in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, there are only four matches so far but the may have some more, like they usually do. So yeah, so I'm going to get on with it. Um, first match is for the Divas Championship, Beth Phoenix versus Tamina Snooker. Um, I think the way they're pushing to me now is a late. Um, it's like pushing a diva like a long, a long time to be honest because uh, I know to me it's hard to run on as late but um, I think when it looks at things I don't think they will make a champion just yet. I mean I love what, the way they're going with it so far but in my opinion I'm not, I don't think she's ready for a title run yet but so. I'm going to go with Beth Phoenix to win this one um, and then Possibly, after the match, we'll probably have a run in from Karma, perhaps. So, I'd like to see Karma versus Beth Phoenix at uh, um, WrestleMania 28. And hopefully, uh, that, that's the only way that I think that I think Beth Phoenix will probably lose the Divas Championship. The next match is the Ambulance match. Uh, John Cena versus Kane. Now, this is going to be a, a brawl. Nothing more to it. Just like a brawl to itself. Now, um, the last time we had an ambulance match was back in or three, I think. So far as we saw three, it was. It was Kane was in that match against Shane McMahon, and that was a brilliant match, nonetheless. Um, the way to bring it back for to put Kane and John Cena in this match, I think it's a way like to round off their feuds, to be honest, because for the way I looked with uh, John Cena and Kane's feud. I mean, it was good at the time, but when they threw um, Zack Ryder and Heath Torrance and all this, it just became a bit cheesy, a bit shit. Like cheesy and shit at the same time. Because, um, why would you throw, like, someone like him or Zack Ryder when they should be in a mid card angle with all this and not with the high card main event caliber, like? John Cena and Kane's feud are in mean, right now. Um, obviously, for looks a bit on Raw with the whole John Cena and Zack Ryder segment, do you think, in my opinion, would um, Zack Ryder turn heel from this by answer? No. Absolute no. I don't think they'll turn Zack Ryder heel yet. But um, the way I see it, um, I think this. Um, this this match is determined to end that feud. Um, so I reckon who's going to win it? I think John Cena will probably win it, you know, because um, I think it's just the way, like I said, it's kind of a way to get the feud ended because um, Cena has this big match with The Rock um, at WrestleMania, so I think this is the way to end the feud now just to keep it going for, until that happens, really. And what they'll do with Kane, I think, I think they might have a mini feud with Ryder or something leading up to Mania. Um, I'm not sure about it because I might. I'm not sure if Ryder will probably go after the US title again whilst um, that feud is healed, to be honest. Um, the next match is the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match for the World Heavyweight title. We've got Daniel Bryan, Wade Barrett, Big Shaw, Cody Rhodes, The Great Carly, and Santina Morella. Now, well, I know um, Randy Orton was supposed to be in this match, but he's been sidelined out with a concussion as of late. So, that a battle while on SmackDown, and eventually Santino ended up winning it. Um, I think from the way I see it, I think Tony Stop Attitude did a prediction video yesterday. And I kind of agree with him on one bit. I think they'll probably may take Santino out in the middle of the match, and they'll probably replace someone like um, Christian who's supposed to be coming back. Might not let him come in and do that or there's probably a shift that pop might put of Bell Del Rio back to SmackDown or something. And then we'll probably just take Santino out of the matchup basically. And I don't know why the great Carl is in that match. I mean for the way I thought when he returned at the Royal Rumble, I thought it was gonna like like a feud with Jinder Mahal and that'll be it. But now I just want me to a big main event matchup. I mean, why? Anyways, 
Um, who, do, who do you think, well, prediction for that match there? Um, I think it's going to be pretty inevitable, really, that I think Daniel Bryan is going to win this one because um, with his heel turn at the moment, I'm um, liking it. It's kind of like a, a cowardly heel kind of gimmick. But um, the real looks like uh, Daniel Bryan will probably win this match, and then at WrestleMania, he'll probably go on to finish Sheamus for the world title or something. Or you could put you could put Randy Orton into the mix to make it a triple threat, like Ryan, Orton, Sheamus for the world title at WrestleMania. That would be one hell of a match. And then we go on to the War Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship. You've got Steam Punk defending against Our Truth, The Miz, Dolph Ziggler, Chris Jericho, and Kofi Kingston. Now, my personal opinion on this, I think this is the match. The Elimination Chamber match that I'm looking forward to. Because you've got the likes of CM Punk in there and Jericho. And possibly we're going to, going to be feuding leading up to WrestleMania anyway. And then uh, you've got the likes of The Miz, Our Truth. They're just going to feud with one another. And then you've got the possible near misses for this match, like Dolph Ziggler and Kofi Kingston. I think with, Co with Kofi's participation in the match afterwards, you know. Um, Probably the maker of pushing for a US title push, um, possibly. With Ziggler, I don't think he'll win the title until around near around SummerSlam time, I reckon. But my personal opinion, I'd like to see Dolph Ziggler turn face at some point because I'm just wondering what he'll do as a face because his opinion, his mic work and his ring work, I really start to impress me as a lot. Well, it's been very good. Um, but the reason I'm true, I think the other people go on to stay until WrestleMania and that'll be it. All Extreme Rules, in the way that will end it, because then you've got the draft beforehand. I think the winner of this match will probably be out of either CM Punk or Jericho, I think, because they're going to have their match at, possibly have their match at WrestleMania for the title to look forward to. So I think I'm going to go for. CM Punk to win this one. Um, I think I don't think Jericho's with, with Jericho just return, I don't think they'll give him the, the title earlier than expected. So I think he'll win probably say he'll win them their match if they have it at WrestleMania. So yeah. Anyway that was my petition video for WWE Elimination Game by the way. And until then, I'm Joe Scott Point 4. Signing off. Peace.